Oh, here we go. I'm on, guys. Oh, right here at the boat. Golly, that rod's bent, guys. Holy cow, look at that big jump out there. Yes, sir, let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Take a look out here behind me. My hit the river, Hurricane of Cold, and came through, dumped more water on us like we needed more water. Let's got this river flooded back here. Look in there behind me, flooded back out the banks again. I mean, it is just high everywhere. Ain't gonna be no fishing out here at this river probably till after hunting season. I might as well just face the facts. So I'm out here today because I get a lot of questions on my channel asking me what are my tackle setups out here? Rod reel fishing line I use when I'm bass fishing, catch a big mud fish, catfish, big bluegill, and even some of them big old gar fish. So I'm about to break it down for y'all real quick and then we're gonna jump right on into some fish catching action. Now the rods I use on this channel are made by 13 fishing guys, high quality fishing rods, a lot of backbone in them, very, very durable. This is the Fate V3 right here, this white one. I've had this rod since I first started this channel guys. I've recently acquired two new ones in the new series, the Almond Black. 13 fishing i have it in the spinning rod and a bait caster set up as well fantastic rod seven foot one medium heavy fast tip guys that fast tip means you got a lot of backbone to muscle in those big fish like the big gar fish or some of them big bass i'll be catching it's got the backbone to handle them i guarantee it i like the seven foot one because this gives me that extra casting distance i really really do love that the reels I use on them are made by Penn. They are the Fierce 3, the 3000 series. Love these 3000 series by, by uh, Penn. Four plus one stainless steel ball bearings in them. Very, very smooth reels. 15 pound max drag, I do believe that's on them. And uh, to me, you just ain't gonna get a better reel. My opinion, that's what I use. I keep them spooled up with a braided line. I primarily only use Beyond Braid fishing line right there, guys. Uh, this is the 20 pound test. I use 15 pound test as well. I love that Beyond Braid. Seems like it's just extra smooth. I get, seems like I just get further casting distance with it and it is very, very strong. And these 3000 series right here, I do believe hold up to about 250 yards if you put just all braid on them. All right, let's see if we can't do that again. Nice, right there. I'm telling you that spot right there is money. Guys, I'm going again. I'm going again, guys, just that fast. Holy cow. This might be a brim. It is. It's a little brim, a little shell cracker. Woo. Boy, that was close. Now, obviously, I'm not out here specifically targeting big bluegill brim with these setups, but sometimes I'm out here catfishing, and it happens. So you just got to be prepared for anything at any time. Solid fish here. Solid fish. Oh, my word. Don't get in that line over there. Don't get in that line over there. Oh, my word. This might be a... I don't know. This might be a bow fish. Oh, don't go down in there. No. Don't go down in there. This might be a bowfin, guys. If it's a catfish, I'll be surprised. He's a good one if he is. God, come on, get up here. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is a catfish. A pole, holy cow, he's about to got that pole, guys. He is gone. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. I think that might be a mudfish though, guys. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, this, yeah. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Get out of here. Come on. Holy smokes. Don't get my other line. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's a nice one too, guys. That is a nice one. Oh, boy. Mudfish, bowfin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take him at this point. <laughs> First fish of the day. <laughs> See you later there, dude. Holy smokes. Oh, this is a hoss here, guys. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, that joker just about got my rod. I think he's gonna get my line. Whoa. Dadgum, is this a big boat then? 
He's running me up the bridge, guys. Holy smoke. Oh, it's a big bill guard. These jokers are powerful, guys. Look at that right there, though. Woo. I'm on again. Here we go. Another fish. Oh, it's a good one here. Good fish. Oh, yes. Stay down. Stay down. Good fish. Stay down. Stay down. Whoa. Ooh, look at this. Mmm. Good bass here, guys. Come on, baby. Tie her out a minute. I'm gonna flip you on this bank. Come on. There we go. Nice fish, guys. Pretty, pretty fish. Take that all day. All right, let's get him back. Get him back. There you go. Here we go, guys. There you go. Oh, this is a good one here. There you go. Uh-oh. He feels pretty good. I don't know if he is. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish here, guys. Whoa, that's a good fish. Good fish here, guys. He ain't no monster, but he's a, he's a decent fish. If I could get him up, he's probably a couple pounds or better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a two-pounder. He ain't no monster. He was down a little bit deep. That's why he was wrecking havoc on me. Oh, this might be a good fish here. Whoa. Oh, he ain't no monster, but he's got some pull to him. Oh, he poor man to the bank. Whoo. Where's he at? There we go. I got him. That joker was pulling me around. About ran me into the dock. Look at that, that hook just came right out. I don't like that nothing. Man. Let's get him back, guys. Thank you, buddy. And there you have it, guys. Those are the setups that I use. They work very well for me. Been doing it a long time. I have no problem with it. So, hey, I hope this video helps some of y'all out that's been asking. I really do appreciate it. Keep those questions coming. You never know, I might just do a video about it. So, till next time, guys, y'all take care, and we'll see you.